What's going on everybody? My name is DCS Beats and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create your own custom 808. The reason why you want to create your own 808 is to have more control and more flexibility in your sound. So basically you are controlling 100% of what you want out of your 808. Today we're going to be using a three-time oscillator, so let's get started. So once you've chosen your three-time oscillator out of the plugins menu, you're left with the default plugin. And this is how it should sound. Now, as you may have heard, the oscillator is playing in three different octaves. Now, generally, 808s don't really play in multiple octaves. They usually stay in a one range octave. So that's what we want to do. We want to bring those octaves down to one. Now you do this by clicking your channel, clicking the plugin editor, and that's where you adjust it. Now, if you notice those three squiggly lines that's highlighted, one thing I personally like to do is turn the third oscillator into a saw wave. Oscillators one and two are kept the same as a sine wave. The reason why I do this is to give a little bit of top end to the overall sub. This would be the same sound that you hear in lo-fi speakers or any type of speakers or headphones that do not have an audible bass end. And this is how it should sound. Now that's really starting to sound like an 808. But not just yet. We still have to shape our 808. Now, in order to do this, you have to go to the envelope settings. Once you go to the envelope settings, you then want to click the envelope button. This will activate the ADSR panel. Now, ADSR is short for attack, decay, sustain, and release. We're going to be tweaking those one by one to get the shape that we want. Now starting off with the attack, this is how the attack sounds at default. Now with the attack tweaked to zero. Now with the release at zero. As well as the sustain at zero. The hold won't be necessary being that it's not a sub bass anymore. Now all we're left with is just the decay in which I'll tweak up just a little bit. Now this is how your new 808 should sound. Now another thing you could do to give it more of an authentic 808 sound is to decrease the tension to give the 808 the sloping effect. Now that we've successfully created an 808, I will have links in the description on how to edit your 808 even further and getting more of an authentic sound. So this is how your new 808 is going to sound. Now I'll be making more videos in regards of this subject, especially on how to edit the pitch of the 808 and also how to mix the 808 as well as blend everything in all together. Be sure to like my channel, comment if you have a request, let me know, I will definitely make a video on how to do so. But this is DCS Beats, signing out.